This is Twit. Facebook is developing a deeper uh, photo facial recognition uh, engine, and they're calling it something that I just think is the worst name in the world. Yes. Deep face. It just sounds like <laughs> dirty or something. You gotta do a double take with this one, right? A little bit. It's a yeah, it's called DeepFace, and uh, it's software that they're working on. This is based on a Mashable article. They're saying that the accuracy of the method is 97.25%, which is just under the 97.5% accuracy that a human can identify. So they're getting as close as possible to uh, uh, the same amount of identification that a human would have, but in the software format. So uh, I don't know. You know, I read this. It looks like they'll be rolling this out and presenting it at a conference that's coming up in June. And I was thinking, well, what is, what's kind of the use for this? And, and how would they want to be able to use this within the Facebook environment? Obviously, it has to do with tagging photos and identifying people. And the more I think about it, the more I absolutely hate it, not only the name, but uh, the fact that, I, to me, that I don't know how much value this presents except for Facebook themselves. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my thing. You know, we've got people in the chat room saying, yes, it's a horrible name. Glenn in chat says it sounds like a face wash. Um, that probably would have been better as deep face from, you know, Noxema or something. It just, it, 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 it sounds creepy to me. But that aside, it's sort of like, how, yeah, how often are you tagged in maybe a photo that there's a big enough group that maybe you don't get tagged by the person who is adding it to Facebook manually and say, oh, thank goodness Facebook has that photo recognition feature so that I know I'm in this photo. I mean, it's happened to me once or twice, but I don't feel like it's something that I, I'm benefiting from that often, and I don't really know who is. This is the thing. I mean, it, it, does anyone care? I mean, I don't even like being tagged in photos. Half the time, the photos are terrible photos. And I just think that, you know, it, it feels like a little bit like an invasion of my privacy, even if I was in a public place or among friends. I just, it doesn't add to the Facebook experience for me. And I think this is just another example, unfortunately, of Facebook doing something that doesn't benefit the end user, but instead potentially does benefit themselves, maybe even advertisers. And more and more, it's about them in some ways just coming in into our personal space a little bit too much. So uh, uh, not a huge fan of this. Would love to know what people who are watching or listening think. Maybe we're missing something here, but it doesn't feel like it. It's just, uh, it's a bad name and maybe even just a, a bad idea. Yeah, I, I guess there's there's some value from having technology that is really, really good at face recognition. You know, maybe you're, you're sort of, you're in a shadow or there's a, you know, some tree leaves in front of you or, or whatever, or just bad lighting or, that sort of thing, or again, there's so many people and you're sort of way in the back of a big group photo. So there, there is value there, but when it comes to Facebook, yeah, in general, I, I don't feel like it's a value for the user base. And Amber, I'm with you. One of, my, one of the things that gives me the greatest um, stress and concern is when I get the email notification, so-and-so has tagged you in a photo on Facebook, which I allow my friends to do. I, I, I know I could set it up to say, um, I want to review everything before I'm tagged, but I feel like, well, you know, if it's my friends, I was with them, and they won't, they, they won't post some bad picture of me. People have really different ideas of what a good picture is, <laughs> and there are a lot of photos of me where I'm just like, untag. I'm sorry, that is just bad. I just don't want to be. I don't want this to represent me at all. Yeah, you know, I, I, I shouldn't reveal this, but I had a, a party at my house a few years ago in the call for help days, I believe. And uh, there were two police officers who had shown up and they were friends of mine and they were just joking around with another friend of mine and they actually put handcuffs on her and, and someone took a picture. And that individual uploaded that picture to Facebook. And of course, my friend who was in the handcuffs, she's thinking, okay, this is totally out of context. It doesn't make any sense. It was just a fun little joke. And all of a sudden she's there on Facebook. Everybody knows who she is. So there are plenty of examples of, of, uh, how this can go terribly wrong. So uh, not a huge fan.